Paint Shop Pro provides a variety of tools to help with printing. You can print a single image size to fit a page, or you can scale the image to a specified size. Templates are available for printing multiple images on a page. Let's take a look at the printer dialog box options. There are two ways to open the printer dialog box in PaintShop Pro. First, we can simply select the tool from the toolbar, and notice when I hover there that the shortcut is shown, Control plus P. So I could hold the Control key down, press the letter P, and that's the same as selecting this tool from the toolbar. When the printer dialog box opens, the first thing to notice is the name of the printer currently selected. And if you don't want to use that printer, you may have other printers available on your system or other printing options. If I select this down arrow here in the printer name area, you see I can select from different printers or I can use Microsoft's printing to PDF file option or more. I'm going to stick with the HP Color Laser Printer for now and that gives me an opportunity to select properties for that printer. These properties will vary from one printer to the next. You can select things like paper quality whether you're printing in color or black and white and there are also some advanced options you can choose from for your particular printer. Again this dialog box will vary from one printer net to the next. Notice that in this print dialog box we have three different tabs. Right now the placement tab is selected and when that tab is selected we get to choose between portrait and landscape. We can also choose the number of copies we're going to print. I have to give you a little bit of warning here. If you're printing something and you chose eight or nine copies the next time you use the printer, it's going to remember that you used eight or nine copies last time. And if you don't keep your eye on that each time you start a new print, you may be surprised at how much paper comes through your printer. Next is the size and position area. You can choose the fit to page and that will take whatever image is currently active and it will make it fit your paper size that's been selected for your printer. And when the fit to page size is selected, all of these other options are gray and ghosted. When I choose center on page, I can adjust the size and position numbers. For example, I may choose the scale to be 75%. The thumbnail will show how your image will fit on the current page size. You might want to put the picture in the upper left corner of the page and you may want to adjust the left and right offsets. Once you've made the size and position adjustments, go ahead and select print and it will send the print job to your selected printer. Let me reopen the printer dialog box. And the next section to discuss is the options tab. When you choose the options tab, you can choose the print output to be color or grayscale or CMYK separations. You have the option of doing negative or background printing and you can add print marks. You can add corner crop marks, center crop marks, or registration marks. You can also add the image name to your print. Now let's take a look at the template tab. When you open the template tab you have the option here to print to a template and then you can select the template from a collection of different templates that are available. You have Avery templates and Avery makes a lot of standard templates or a lot of standard forms you can print on. There are also the Avery International forms that are available and there are combinations. If you choose this combination here you'll get a 5x7 plus wallets. Let's, let's choose that just to see what happens. Okay, there it is, a 5x7 of Aunt Selma with four wallets. 
Well, let's select a different template and let's take a look at a whole page full of wallets. Okay, there you see it. So there are a lot of templates to choose from when you want to print multiple copies of the same image. Let's look at another way to do printing. I'll close the print dialog box. Now notice that right now I have three different images open in PaintShop. I have Aunt Selma, I have Grandpa Nassman, and I have the original scanned photograph of the family. This time I'm going to say File, Print Layout, and this provides me with a page that I'm going to add pictures to. And so let me just click on this image and drag it and drop it into the page. When I do that, it says, this image will not fit on the paper without scaling it. Do you wish to scale it? The answer is yes. And that doesn't leave any room for the other pictures. So what I can do is I can grab the corner of that image and I can drag that corner and then I can click on the image and I can drag it around and scale it and put it exactly where I want it. There are also, once this image is selected, there are also a number of tools on the toolbar that you can use for positioning and sizing that image. Let's drag Grandpa Nassman over here drop him on the, the picture and I need to resize him a bit so let me put him down here in this corner uh, maybe a little bit smaller now I'm going to add Aunt Selma and again manually resize this move it around to the place that I like And by the way, if you like to align things when you're doing this layout, there is a grid here that you can toggle on. And once that's toggled on, notice that I can drag Aunt Selma right into that grid, and then I can gra drag Grandpa onto that grid so that the right edges of those pictures will be nicely lined up. And that grid does not print, by the way, uh, but it will be invisible when you go to print. Let me move this picture down here in the middle just just because. Let me turn the grid back off. Now what I would like to do is I would like to identify these pictures before I print them. So we have here a text option and we can click here somewhere and add some text and we can I'm going to click, 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 and highlight all of those words so that I can change the font. Maybe make it 14, bold, and I can center it in the little box. And then I'm going to just say OK, and then I'll drag that under the old family picture. Let me add some text for Aunt Selma. And again, I'm going to select all the text and make it bold. And I think I'll make it 16. Center it in my text box. Say OK. And then I'm going to drag this, this to be right under. Well, you see how this works. So once I have all of this organized, all of it arranged, then I can go ahead and print. And it's also possible to go in here and use the setup to change printers and do all those things, printer properties and whatever. So as you see, there are a lot of opportunities for different ways to print from PaintShop Pro.